Hi, welcome. My name is Elkie Pure. I'm an author and a fiction book coach. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create successful writing sessions. Now, a lot of times we want as writers to kind of write when we feel inspired or when um, the mood hits us or when our muse shows up. But the truth is, if we wait for those times, it ain't gonna happen, right? <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, so what can you do? The way to avoid sort of waiting for our muse to show up and they don't is to create successful writing sessions and set ourselves up for success. And the first way that you can do that is by identifying when you're most creative. And how you can do this is just to pay attention throughout the day from when you first wake up to when you go to bed in the evening and when you feel the urge to and the desire most to write and to take advantage of those times because a lot of times we think oh well we got to write at this time or we can only write at that time or we can only write when we have a lot of time when the truth is if we're sitting in traffic and we get inspired in that moment because that happens to be something that is the perfect time for us you know we need to take advantage of that <laughs> and also to just so when you pay attention to those things throughout the day that is a good way to learn when you are most creative when you feel the most energy is another way to identify perhaps when you're most creative when are you most energized is it in the morning is it in the evening you know, we all know that those times when we get that burst of energy, when we're just like plowing through and getting stuff done and tracking those times so that we can take advantage of them and use them for our creativity as well too. So that is the first thing. The second thing to consider when planning successful writing sessions is to decide what you're going to write. Now, I know this kind of sounds like a no-brainer, but sometimes we just sit down and we think we're just gonna write and then we end up looking at a blank page. Um, guilty. <laughs> and I found that what really helped me was two things. One is be very specific about what you're going to write. Is it one chapter? Is it a certain amount of words? Is it a specific scene? Just get as specific as possible so that you have a clear goal when you sit down to write and you're not sort of saying, okay, um, what am I going to write or should I write this, shouldn't I write this? You're using that creative time to try to figure out what it is you're going to write, whereas knowing that ahead of time can really make a big difference. And the next thing with being specific about what you're going to write that really helps me is to take five minutes before your writing session and just summarize what it is that's going to happen in the scene. The scene, where is the scene happening and how is this going to move the story and the characters forward? Now, this is, you just take five, no more than 10 minutes to just kind of summarize everything that um, you feel is gonna happen with, with what you're going to write. And this works to your advantage in a few ways. And the primary one is it gets your creative juices flowing. So rather than you just sort of sitting there and just thinking, okay, um, what am I gonna write about? Oh yeah, I'm gonna, um, oh, it's gonna be this, or oh, it's gonna be that. You've actually just sort of made a quick clip of what is going to happen and what you're going to write about. And that really, really helps, I find, to also not just get the creative juices flowing, but it also really helps you with writing more words. When I do this, I can plow out 2,000 words or more sometimes in my writing sessions. And that has been really helpful for me. And I hope it'll be helpful for you too. The third thing that you can do to have uh, successful writing sessions is to prepare your space. Um, and what I'm, this can mean different things to different people. Like for me, it means having a clear desk. Like I can't write if there's clutter around me. So whenever I know that I'm going to sit down to write, I will make sure that my desk is clear and organized and that I just have what I need for that writing session. I have my water, I have pens, pencils, my journal, everything and anything, any uh, notebooks, timelines, 
character sketches, anything like that. Um, I have my, for digital purposes, I have it all up on the screen. Everything else is closed out. And I really help to prepare the space that I'm going to use. And I have everything there in that space so that I'm not interrupting and going to get a snack or going to get water. Because this can really take away from um, the creative flow that you might be in. So that is something that I find is really helpful with creating a successful writing session. Now, the next way that you can have a successful writing session is to get yourself what I like to call a writing buddy. Now, they don't have to be somebody that's in person because you know sometimes um, you might have a writing buddy that's on the other side of the world that works too right it doesn't really matter and what the purpose of a writing buddy is is exactly what it says it's somebody that you're going to write with also do um, writing sessions like live where you can actually they're sitting there writing for up to two hours so that is something else that you can do if you don't have a writing buddy um, and what your writing buddy is, let's be clear, it's not somebody that you meet in person and you talk about writing. No. <laughs> this is a writing buddy where you sit there and you hold each other accountable by writing in the time that you are there together. Really important that you're specific about the time that you're going to be writing um, so that if you want to talk about writing or talk about other stuff, that you le you have that where you can do that before, you can do that after. I suggest doing it after. If you're a talker like me, um, you'll never get to writing, <laughs> right? But um, what that does is that, like I said, you're very specific about the amount of time that you're going to write so that you don't get distracted with other things that um, could happen with this person or conversations or whatever. You get the gist of what I'm saying. That is, um, those things are some of the things that you can do to have a successful writing sessions. And if you're just joining this video, I'm going to share, run through really quickly. The first one is identify your most creative times. The second one is decide what you're going to write. And you can do this by being specific and just creating a quick summary um, before you actually sit down to write. The third thing is to prepare your space so that you have everything that you need before you actually start to write so that you have no distractions, you don't have to leave to get up to get anything. And the fourth thing that you can do is get yourself a writing buddy that can hold you accountable for actually writing, which is what we all need to have for successful writing sessions. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel or share it with somebody that you think it might be helpful. Now, I wanna share with you a great resource that I have. It's called Start Your Book Now. And what it is, it's a step-by-step -step guide that helps you to build a strong foundation to write your fiction book. And it's a uh, five training videos also, it comes with a workbook that helps you work through the sessions of how to create that strong foundation to write your fiction book. All right, I'll leave that in the link below. And I would love to hear what you do to have successful writing sessions yourself. All right, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.